Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damned hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Alcacala Bridge. That guy's got no fear. He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! Boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Thanks for your sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black skin. Let's get a ringside seat. Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Alan! You get out here right now! Step back! LAPD! What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on so this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. You look troubled. I'm in a jam. 
Doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, Doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Ridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. I mean, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. And you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. There's a phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. appear to be connected. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, 
Detective. I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks for your help. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. You know the way. You can drive. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, Detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. That's the cop, isn't it? Some are walking down the street. Yeah, what Almost do you sucked. want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. I think his name is Phelps. He brought in that case where that poor lady killed near City Hall. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. What the hell? Socks. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. God damn! Door's unlocked. Looks like he's had a broad up here. must be heading home. You know I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Andy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who is Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl, see if that gets us any closer.
Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. Kidding. I could save all year and not be able to afford that. Advice? Doesn't tell me anything. What the hell? I brought his socks in it for you. Isn't he the cop who won a medal in solving all the cases? Peanuts are walking down the street. One was assaulted. It's still warm. You're behind the wheel. So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. to know which room is Candy's. That's that car. Can I help you, gentlemen? LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sweezy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. I saved the whole year for that car. Give it up. Sounds like we're missing he's all the fun. Get in there, Phelps. You know where he's hiding. Now tell me where he is before I cut you. I told you I haven't. <laughs> Like hitting women, do you? We had a goddamn This isn't gonna end well for you, friend. Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. She's leaving town. Single ticket, one way. 
Guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Iskanya sails from New York. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Do you want to press charges against Arcaro? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Good luck, Miss Edward. I hope things work out for you. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to her candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out, see where she goes. The tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you.
problem, pal? Risk losing the trail. Too much slack. I need to get closer. Risk losing the trail. Too much slack. Goes in the trail. Too much slack. Gotta get closer.
Box makers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. That's that cop. Looks like a decent guy. Case a blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Poor kid. Said she was being day. watched. How much did she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door? Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Hammond backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. The question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? Call 11K, 11 King. Further to your request, Bunko Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, the Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGPL clear. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company, Hollywood 2187, please? This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. You can drive.
This broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. A mistake we can't seem to stop making. That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She knows his goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive. Hammond is full of himself, being this sure he was gonna win. Too close, Phelps. Way too close. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Pull over. He's heading inside. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. This town's dangerous. One of these days. Keep talking. Someday you'll say something Isn't intelligent. Isn't that the couple who solved the big case and got promoted? Ambulance. Hammond got away. <coughs> he, he said, Just try and sit still, Candy. Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I, I, They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split? He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook.
32 caliber, one shot fired. The Egyptian theater. So, what now? Peter, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. Can you drive to this one? Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. Seems like a long shot, aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. Message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KCP all clear. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and, and I intend to keep on living. She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up. Just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take the short money. It's for the best. You were washed up, kid! You couldn't climb, and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere! Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much. But I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself, so did little boy. You did it and made a quick buck, and Candy did it and made her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah! I've got the money, all I need to do is get rid of you. It's gonna be a shame, kid, but that's business. Arcaro, put down your weapon! You're making a big mistake. Come on, Cole. Carl's a dead man. Hammond, too, when I find him.
box stuffer. It's time to come out now, Hammond! Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. You. That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps. Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and the... Uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen.